From the heart of Yerevan to all corners of the world, this is Civil Net's Daily News Digest for Thursday, November 21st. I'm Paul Chadurjan. Maria Titizian is on assignment in Istanbul. Right now, what Gharapah is saying about the meeting between Armenian President Sarkisyan and Ilham Aliyev. Plus, find out who's inviting Turkey's foreign minister to Yerevan and why. And would-be revolutionary Shant Haruchunyan will reportedly undergo a psychiatric evaluation. Later, remembering one of Armenia's most beloved singers a year after her death. We begin on this Thursday with international reaction to Armenian President Serhat Sarkisyan's meeting with Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev on Tuesday night in Vienna. The presidents agreed that they would speed up the nagorno karabakh peace talks and they agreed to have their foreign ministers meet in less than two weeks on either December 5th or December 6th. U.S. State Department spokesman Jen Psaki issued a statement about the Tuesday night meeting saying the U.S. quote, commends the presidents of Armenia and Azerbaijan for this first step. She said that the U.S. is encouraged that the presidents have agreed to a follow-up meeting in the months ahead. The statement also says, quote, as a co-chair of the OSCE Minsk Group along with Russia and France, the United States urges both presidents to work actively towards a peaceful resolution to the conflict, which has taken a heavy toll on the people on all sides." End of quote. Meanwhile, OSCE chairperson in office, Ukraine's foreign minister, Leonid Kojara, says he's certain that the dialogue at the highest level will contribute to a mutual understanding and will provide a positive incentive in settling the border dispute. Minister Kojara went on to say, quote, the Ukrainian chairmanship stands ready to further facilitate the efforts of Azerbaijan and Armenia with the mediation of the OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs on the establishment of the regular dialogue aimed at reaching comprehensive, peaceful settlement of the nagorno karabakh conflict on the basis of international law." End of quote. And this comment from the nagorno karabakh Republic's foreign ministry its statement says, while the talks between the presidents is an important step toward reaching a peaceful settlement, NKR believes real progress in the settlement process could only be reached, quoting now, by taking into consideration the existing realities and with the restoration of full format negotiations with direct and immediate participation of the nagorno karabakh Republic in all its stages, end of quote. The Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of the Black Sea Economic Cooperation has invited Turkish Foreign Minister Ahmed Davatoglu to Armenia for its December 12th meeting. It's not known if Davatoglu will participate. Yesterday, the Turkish newspaper Today Zaman interpreted the invitation as a positive signal from Yerevan in response to Ankara's efforts towards the Armenian-Azerbaijani conflict solution. The Turkish newspaper writes that Davutoglu will take part in the meeting in Armenia if negotiations over the nagorno karabakh conflict continue between Armenia and Azerbaijan. You may recall that in June of 2013 at the Council of Foreign Ministers of Member States of the Black Sea Cooperation Organization, Armenia's Foreign Minister Edward Nalbandian took the presidency of the organization for six months until December 31st of this year. Here at home, Shant Haruchunyan, who was detained after trying to lead what he called was a revolution on November 5th, will apparently undergo a psychiatric evaluation. That according to Armen Press. Prison guards transferred Haruchunyan from his jail cell to the Nubarashen Psychiatric Hospital for at least two months. Haruchunyan's defense lawyer, Ines Abogosian, told Civilnet that she didn't want to issue a statement just yet, but will comment in a few days. Meanwhile, actor and comedian Vartan Bedrosian may need heart surgery. That's the latest from his doctors. The actor was arrested after a fatal car crash that took two young lives. He was arrested and wasn't allowed to leave a prison infirmary until two days ago and only after an online petition by Charles Aznavour. Bedrosian was moved to a heart hospital and because of his condition, he wasn't able to attend his court hearing. The popular actor faces jail time if convicted on manslaughter charges. Yesterday marked the first anniversary of the passing of much beloved singer Flora Mardirosian. The singer was honored as one of the Republic's people's artists. She was also the founder of the Gomidas Chamber Music International School. 
To mark the anniversary, the singer's family and fans gathered at her tomb at the Yerevan City Pantheon for a candle lighting ceremony. The singer's family is currently suing her doctor they blame for her death. She died from complications after gallbladder surgery. Her family says it was medical malpractice. Armenia will get an economic shot in the arm with a nearly $875 million low interest loan from the World Bank. The regional director of the World Bank says those dollars are allocated to creating jobs and making Armenia more competitive. Although how the money will be distributed hasn't been decided, a majority of the funds will be used to give loans to small and medium businesses in both rural and urban areas. At a press conference on Tuesday, World Bank representatives said they would work with Armenia regardless of what it decides to do in joining the Russian-led customs union. While Armenia appears to be on the way to joining the customs union, National Self-Determination Union Chairman Barur Hayrikyan says that 70% of Armenians oppose the move. The Soviet-era dissident is seeking to stage a rally in Yerevan to show the ruling regime that the Armenian people are against the customs union. The rally will take place at Liberty Square on November 28th. That's the day when the European Union's Eastern Partnership Summit will take place in Vilnius, Lithuania. Heidi Gian tells the internet news site armenianow.com, quote, No one has the right to make false statements on behalf of Armenians. Even the Europeans have noticed that the issue of joining the customs union has not been discussed in Armenia at any level. The exchange rates are on your screen as we take a look at the forecast. It'll rain today in Yerevan. The high will be 11 degrees or 52 Fahrenheit. It'll be partly cloudy and 5 degrees in Gyumri. The overnight low will be a freezing minus one. And in Stepanagerd, cloudy weather is in the forecast with a high of 5 degrees and an overnight low of zero. Our travel forecast for today takes us to the Armenian community in Norway, where there are said to be about 2,000 Armenians. Most have emigrated there from Middle Eastern countries, and recently Norway also had an influx of Armenians from the homeland. Most Norwegian Armenians live in the capital of Oslo, where it will be cloudy with a high of 3 and an overnight low of a minus 3. You've been watching a music video titled Europe's Skies from Norwegian pop icon Alexander Rybak. You may recognize Alexander from the Eurovision contest in 2009. Alex took the top prize that year with his hit Fairy Tale. That year, Armenia was represented by the talented sisters Inga and Anush singing Jan Jan. Inga and Anush took 10th place. Speaking of Norway, did you know that Civilnet's own Tim Strait is the honorary consul of Norway to Armenia? Each week, Tim's signature program, Straight to the Village, takes us to another remote spot in Armenia to introduce us to everyone from apple farmers to beekeepers and artisans. Over the weekend, Tim wanted to see how people get their cars washed in villages. In this episode, Tim takes us to a car wash in the village of Norkeri and tries to find out if there's a difference between a car wash in the village and in Yerevan. Well, at least this is more than they do in Yerevan. I the guy is foaming up my car like I have never seen anybody do in Yerevan, so maybe it is worth the 4,000 drums. We'll see. It's going to be clean, that's for sure. And, oh my gosh, okay, we better get out of here before we get soaking wet. You can watch Tim's entire segment by following the link on your screen. That is our digest for this Thursday. We leave you with the rest of the music video called Europe's Skies. I'm on my way to California flying through Europe's skies as you watch this digest today. Hope you'll tune in to the Armenia Fun Telethon next week. Maria will be back from Istanbul tomorrow. Menak Parov.